Taipei. You're amazing. Me too in Taipei. Ah, yay! Okay. Okay. Oh, that's so cute. Card. I have to give it a 9 out of 10. That's exactly what it said. <laughs> yeah. No yeah. Don't let those cues scare Today you. Today on the grid, now now the mandatory Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall and the Liberty this Square. This is really something else. The National Theater. Free entrance here. the National Concert Hall. It's already worth coming to Taipei for. I think I could just stare at these monuments for a whole day. With the weather not on our side. Cool down quite a bit. We are marching onwards and upwards, conquering the Hushan Max Mountain. are already complaining. Our motivation? Wilderness in the middle of a bustling yeah. city. The panoramic views and the awe-inspiring Taipei 101 watching over the city. Wow. Incredible. We end our day munching Taiwan style on Japanese streets. Uh -oh. yes. uh, and amazing. as in the previous video, your personal Gordon Ramsay's Elmer and Alex will honestly tell you if the sushi is really good. I would give it the... Or if the chef has to get out of the kitchen. And we paid. It was just make yourself comfy mm. and let's enjoy Taipei on a different kind of day. Wow. Friendly and how open and how nice Taiwanese people are. Yeah, Friendliness so was invented here. We start today's journey mm. by rating the food fest of the night before at the Ningxia Night Market. <sighs> <laughs> Ni hao from beautiful Taipei. From Dandy Hotel. Sorry if we sound a bit tired, but yesterday we were functioning quite well with only a couple hours of hours of sleep. sleep. But today I think both the jet lag and mm. going to bed too late has hit us quite hard. We slept nine hours, but when the but, alarm uh, yeah, feels like uh, when three hours. This morning we were like, what time is it? What do we have to do? We didn't even drink yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Enjoy your time in East Crowd beer. Cheers! No, it's for what I can't be yourself. Oh, it's much more lekker. But we had loads of food. We met, as you've seen in the previous video. Super, super friendly. <laughs> Monica from Taiwan yeah. and her husband. They were yeah. both really nice. And they were with their son-in-law, their daughter's boyfriend, Cole, from the States. They were really nice. We hung out with them yeah. uh, at the Ninja Night Market. Yeah, they really adopted us and they showed us a lot of amazing yeah. foods. Actually, oh, the thing so, that they showed us the most so is how, how friendly and how open and how nice Taiwanese people are. Really yeah. impressed. They are almost like Latin. <laughs> well, maybe the Latins are almost like Taiwanese people. They're so friendly. This was invented here. Like pretty much everyone that we had a conversation with was really friendly. Or the pickup yeah. driver from uh, Dandy Hotel came to pick us up from the airport. It was really friendly and he spoke English pretty well. Mm -hmm. And he was funny at 40 minutes from the airport to our hotel, but he made it really enjoyable. Yeah. Of course, we're only here, not even 24 hours, so we can say uh, yeah. that much, but. Uh, up to now our experiences are really good. We wanted to stop at Fuhang Soy Milk for breakfast. It's open from 5.30 to 12.30. Can still make it. <laughs> We're not hungry no. right now. We can't eat. No. How is it called where we want to go now? Chiang Kai-shek Memorial Hall and the Liberty Arch. And actually, in my head, we would have arrived there at 9 o'clock yeah, with the jet lag and the tiredness. It's now almost 30, so... We're yeah. two and a half hours behind on schedule. But, uh, it doesn't matter, it's a uh, holiday. It's a holiday. Things yeah. don't always go as planned. And actually we had a whole planning and I was like, I'm never going to yeah. succeed doing that. But uh, yesterday we did succeed to, to do everything. everything with and that was, four hours or three And that's well pretty hours. nice. Yeah. The nice thing is that everything was close to each other. So yeah. easily, we'll go with the flow and uh, we'll see. Yeah. And after that we go to Elephant Mountain. Do a little some some hiking there. We also have a temple there. Usang hiking trail. Ooh, three kilometers one way. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> we'll see. And then we could go to a sushi bar and Taipei one one. Yeah, we found a sushi bar. Saw it as a coincidence when I was trying to make an itinerary for today. The reviews and the pictures of the sushi looked amazing. We never say no to good sushi. I really want to check that out. Hopefully uh, you too. And hopefully it will be something nice. I hope we'll be hungry. We're supposed to have that for dinner. So we'll find yeah. something light to lunch maybe and then have that for dinner. I'm so full right now. I can think of food. Yeah, let's lunch. see. It's 3 o'clock. And I'll also go hiking and walking. Or we might just have one. But yeah, it's Taiwan. Probably won't have just one more meal today. Yeah, you're funny. Yeah. Rating the food from yesterday? Yes. Stinky tofu, Yeah, you never tried? Not yet. Uh, no. Oh my god, when we got to the Ningxia night market, it's there the was a particular smell already from the, the, <laughs> the first few meters when we walked on the market. And I was thinking, like, oh, what well, is this smell? I know it from somewhere, but it like, smells, it smells like plastic, like, I don't know, like, like manure yeah. or something. Maybe that's why I call it stinky. Oh. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. What other reason? would they have to call it stinky? 
It was smelling so bad at certain places and I even said to Alex, you pass some stalls and it smells really nice. And then at some others it smells horrible. And yeah, go figure, that was because of the stinky tofu. But still, the stinky tofu was very popular because Monica had to wait like half an hour in line. Oh wow. For stinky tofu. Yeah. Wow. So very sorry for her. But wow. what's your grade? <laughs> Let's just say that I thought the smell was pungent and not that nice, but when we tasted it, for me it tastes how it smells. So I give it a three and a half, four out of ten. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't my thing at all. No. I think I would give it uh, five out of ten. Thank you so much, Monica. I could eat more Monica. pieces uh, yeah. than Elmer. Yeah. But that one yeah. point, it just, uh, yeah, it's really like so That's that steamed tofu. Of course you have to try sorry, it. Sorry, Diamond, it's people. Yeah, sorry. I you like it. Uh, <laughs> Maybe yeah, you and you have to try it when you're in the air, but... I could have it again. I'm not sure if you could have it again, I could have it again, but maybe... I wouldn't have it again, no. There's so many nice things to eat here that I would find it a waste to fill me up with this. <laughs> yeah, I think Monica just got a big box, or maybe that was a portion size. There was a lot of it. There was a lot, really? yeah. Stinky tofu. Hey. What else did we have? Oh, the oyster omelette. We can read that. No, only to each other, I think. Mm. All right. You made a nice movie how they make it. So he first adds the oysters and then the batter. And after a while, he adds uh, salad, just salad leaves, and then uh, magic nuggets. And there it comes. And look at the queue here. Okay. Everyone wants to share a bowl. It was a shame though, because when we were finished and we were passing tables, Alex already told me when we were eating, it wasn't really completely cooked. And maybe it's not meant to be completely cooked but ours seemed to be slightly undercooked and i was looking at other people's yeah. omelets the egg was just cooked through i also wanted nonsense yeah but you see the film here a coat that yeah. oh. and ours was still very gooey and drippy it almost seems like it's not cooked i still like the taste i, I still rate it eight out of ten there was a lot of flavor i like the oyster i think it could run in a higher grade if the egg was cooked more for me it's a seven out of ten i think it has potential but i can't say it was like wow Maybe I would give it too high of a grade just because it's a high movie or it's a faint and it's very famous. But if I were to have that somewhere else, I'd be like, well... Taste is subjective, so uh, we get yeah. 7 out of 10 <laughs> and 8 out of 10. So the average is at the 7.5, which yeah. is still not bad. And what else did we have? In the beef. Oh, the on the stall it was written as diced cow. It's amazing and when you already pass the market stand, you see like these big slabs of meat lying there. They already look great, like good red meat and also some good marbling of fat in there. The guy was just there with a blowtorch. He was grilling it. And he was grilling it and just continuously... With fire. Yeah, with fire, throwing it around. And yeah, it was a spectacle. It was a spectacle to watch and a feast in my opinion to eat maybe one of the things i enjoyed most yesterday yeah. or maybe the most mm, oh my god yeah here we go. delicious oh yeah, this is yummy mm. it's amazing 150 mpd 78 euros eight euros i give it an 8.5 so you can choose out of four toppings or sauces i was happy that you asked me what would you like and then i said what i wanted and you said i wanted the same it was just a black pepper seasoning i'm very happy we took the black pepper one it's good yes yeah. there's also sauce and stuff but i think it takes away from the taste of the meat it was great mm. Oh yeah, that was so good. I also I like I like meat a lot. I, I think I have to give it a nine out of ten. That's exactly what I said. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, yeah. Pancake with ice cream, it's big squid as well. Yeah. What shall we go for first? Let's go with a big squid. When we got to the market, there was already one stall which had a queue which we thought was insanely long. When Alex looked what they were making there, there was just a Taiwanese woman there and she told her, go get it, it's very good, it's very good. Uh, we didn't end up getting it at first, but then later I was like, yeah. how many times are we going to yeah. be here? If everyone is queuing for it, that's a sign, right? A sign that it must be good. Elmer could definitely not just walk away without trying it. Mm -mm. <laughs> no, you queued up, I think. 40 minutes? No, minutes? way, way less. Maybe 15, 20 minutes. Don't let those queues scare you because in my opinion, also with the oyster omelet, like it was quite minutes, a queue. It's but like 20 minutes. Yeah. It's doable. And that's really doable. And some stalls have no one around and others are packed with people. The quality might have something to do with it. Or maybe not. Yeah, I think also the popularity. We weren't or really blown away, for example, with the oyster omelet and the queue was super long there. For example, the diced cow didn't have the long queue, but it was 
uh, Nazy. Real meat is always good, I think. It's very difficult to cook it raw or to make it raw. Well, That's possible. Meat, yeah, if you have Oh, wrong. sorry, but no. It's very easy to cook meat raw. If you overcook it, for yeah, it will be real like that. Then it's, barbecue. Easy, then it's easy to overdo it. Okay, Alex forgot some of the meat on our wedding. That was barbecue over and over. That's I think also the meat done. wasn't best. Because of the cooking, but also not the best part, not the most fresh. Bursting and bustling squid, a big squid. And you could either, if they dice it up, they put it in some kind of marinade and deep fry it. And you can either have it with or without cucumber. I think they fry it first and after that they dice it up. And the you guy was super have a quick. Picture with the raw version. Uh, you can get it with or without cucumber. I took with. Especially for the lady, but even you said there was a bit too much cucumber. You know, there's Salad. big white pieces. She told us it's reddish. Ah. Monica told us it's reddish. Ah, okay. Okay, so there's it's also reddish, reddish in there. Yeah. Yeah. The squid is the main Yeah, it was really yeah. tasty, right? Also, the small pieces, the guy who's making it, he just chop 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 like tentacles and stuff and then throws it in the box and then he cut up the yeah. the main part of the squid like tuck, yeah. tuck, 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 and then yeah, just awesome. threw it on top it was really well, how did you like it yeah i loved it this is nice yeah how mm. would you rate this. it mm. i know you I think 8.5. Yeah. That's a total point higher than I just so said to the camera. 7.5. Yeah, I thought yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah. You're a food critic and you're a bit critical. I really so. like the squid parts. Yeah, I me too. The, better, the low squid uh, intent stuff. Mm -hmm. so yeah, they're they're really good. I was thinking to just get the one without cucumber, but I thought he would have killed oh. me. So maybe we should have done that. I still like it with the cucumber, so okay. I give it 8.5 out of 10, and I think if it wasn't with the cucumber, it might mm. get on a higher grade. And then 9.5 or so. Pieces of squid were like amazing. Mm. Oh, let's start with the peanut shaped ice cream. Should we just give it a grade? Yes. Here I can see a piece of the coriander. Okay, now I'm curious. I want that piece of coriander. Oh my god. No, I also wanted a piece. Kate. Kate. Agree. Then there was well, one dessert that yeah. I already saw and I wanted to get and Alex was like, meh, yeah. well, we got it in the end and oh my God, it was so good. Some kind of better donut oh, thingy, yeah. soy milk, because Guy the stand told me this is best. This English wasn't that good, but he was just like, this, this. Deep fried ice cream. In like a donut. It was a treat, really. It was yeah. very good. It was one, two, 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 two. Nine out of ten. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Nine. 9 going towards a 9.25, 9 plus. Anyway, so 9 out of 10. And then the last thing was the, the, bubble, the tea. bubble tea there. Yeah. Couldn't film anymore. The GoPro didn't start anymore. Mm. This happens when it overheats. I would have had to take the battery off. Fix your thing, GoPro. Make a better processor. Yeah, and put it back in. But I was way too tired. It was like about 11 p.m. Extremely tired. In the end, we just went home. But the bubble tea was great. Are we, are we in Taiwan or are we not in Taiwan? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now that we'll have the first sip of this, uh, we're like, now we're in tapioca Taiwan. Tapioca bowls. So start thing is... So tapioca. Tapioca, okay. All right. Tapioca bowls were really great. Very chewy. If you get, could have chewed on that for like the whole day. Forever. Yeah. Which one do you recommend? Tapioca with milk. Okay, yeah. one tapioca with milk, please. And with the milk, I think the sauce was a night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was really good. It was really nice. Thank you so much. Cheshire. And we were walking back to the hotel and we're sharing that uh, bubble tea drink. It was really nice. Love it. Now it's uh, to a quarter to 12. We got to go. See you on the road. See you. First attraction the Taipei Metro and the very adorable transportation carts. First attempt at the Metro. I understand none, but I understand. Don't have to pee. Yummy. Yummy. Oh, purchase. Okay. Understand. Purchase. Okay. Oh. This is bank mode. Come on, it's good. It's tasty. You have to confirm. I don't want a receipt. Now it works. Oh, look. Ah, look. Yay! I ah, that's so cute. Card. That's so cute. <laughs> Let's see. To get it. Number two. Thank Here you. it is. Oh, cute. I got an extra, <laughs> an extra receipt. We have three now. Oh, okay. So should we now also top it up? Let's. How much should we put in? Maybe a few hundred. Easy peasy. We hold this. Here. Yeah, I'm sure. 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 
just look at this. This seems to be the National Theatre, the National Concert Hall. By the way, there's free entrance here. Amazing. You can also get in from there. Wow. Yeah. I got so inspired. So I'm gonna beautiful. have a shot. Oh, yeah, with this in the foreground. The, the, exactly. The flowers. Yeah, we're now at the Chiang Kai Shek. This is the Freedom Arch, and behind us is the Square of Democracy. And there in the back is uh, Chiang Kai Shek Memorial Hall. Is this not the Liberty Square? No, um, the sign said Democracy Square. Okay, Democracy Square. Liberty and Democracy are very close to each other. Maybe that's why it was changed from Liberty Square to Democracy Square to make a statement. Yeah. One thing is for sure, this is really something else. Mm -hmm. It's already worth coming to Taipei for. If you have one day, you see it in every itinerary, but it really is very special. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's very beautiful. Oh, wow, the light is so strong. We are a bit unfortunate, as today the plaza is a bit cluttered, getting ready for an event. Still, this place has a unique vibe. I think I could just stare at these monuments for a whole day. The monuments and the heat and humidity in Taiwan send us directly through space and time. Time for some real exercise. For that, we have to get in the metro again. Good idea van hen, toch? Om kindjes een minuut of fame te geven. Site of Taipei 101. Hopefully, we get there, babe, uh, tonight. Uh, sure, for sure. On our way to the Hushan Mountain, we stumble upon the Hippo Coffee Bar, a trendy place where you can enjoy coffee and cake with unique flavors. Reality starts to hit in. What's our plan uh, right now, Elmer? Walk 1.5 kilometers to do a hike of 3 kilometers while our feet and legs are already complaining. The temperature is quite nice right now. Yeah. It cooled down quite a bit, but yeah, I'm not sure if this is a sign that it will rain in a few minutes. It does seem like it. This one. <laughs> I'm not sure. I Stop think that there. is Elephant Mountain. The amazing thing about Taipei is that one moment you are in the concrete jungle with the sights and sounds of the city, and the next one you are in the actual jungle, surrounded by incredible flora and fauna, listening to a true mashup of the sounds of the city nice and of nature. How is this trail called, sweetie? Something in Chinese. This is the sound. Whoa. Wilderness in the middle of a bustling yeah. city. There is something special about the alleys, the nature, the climate, 
and wetter today. We're now heading to Leopard Peak because Husan Peak I would be even more further away and we're already quite tired and it's already quite dark. Do we smell? smell. It's very, very humid. Smell. Date. I think the date will uh, cover our yeah. sweat. Smell. That looks dystopian. Okay. Whoa. Lots of steps towards Mount Husan. It gets uh, more foggy. They're within reach. I think if we were to spend a day here, we could have done all of them. Yeah. Whew. But let's go to Mount Hushan and then we'll uh, call it a hiking day. Watching over Taipei from the top of Mount Hushan and glaring at the majestic and mystic Taipei 101 towering above all through mist and raindrops is a truly incredible and awe-inspiring experience. This is the reason why we travel. This is the reason we came to Taiwan. Quite similar yet uh, different. We have a thousand haar from this inspanning, and you? Haar? Yeah. Haartjes. How did you find the hike? Really nice, I'm happy. Even though we were tired, I'm happy that we went. Yeah, the hike is awesome. Yeah. It was just us. And I think you can do quite a lot of uh, those trails in like one go. We're in a big food hall and we're gonna eat at a place called Mother Sushi. Uh -oh. yes. uh -oh. <laughs> looks amazing. We need uh, chopsticks. Oh yeah. What a treat. What a treat. What a treat. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, so the verdict sushi we just had. Yeah, well, fantastic. I would give it the uh, 9 out of 10. Yeah, sure. Sure. Definitely worth it. We're definitely deserving of this great cook. Yeah, well, first of all, that was a big plate of sushi. There were all hits, all just hits. So good, that was just so nice. Uh, nine out of ten, I think, yeah. So we had like spicy, spicy tuna, we had a rainbow roll, spider roll, a dragon roll, and we paid uh, 1,090, 34 dollars. Something like around thirty-four dollars, so a uh, pretty good price uh, with the uh, two of us. We also got the soup, other sushi number three here in the food hall. Other sushi. You can highly recommend this place, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, that's it. Thank you very much. Yeah, the food was really amazing. Yeah, we loved it. Yeah, thank you. Bye. 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 There's more to come in this series of adventures around Taiwan. Yeah! You are more than welcome to follow along. In the next episode, we will be picking up a ride that will take us all around this entire incredible country in East Asia called Taiwan. Thanks for sticking around till the end of the video. We hope to see you in the next one. Until then, much love, take care, bye! Cheers!